Hello everyone, hope you are good and be happy always. Once again, welcome to Shachi's Academy to discuss yet another topic that is production possibly curve. Before starting our topic, like I would like to inform you that we have started posting our notes on our website that is www.shachiacademy.in. You can read those notes. They are made specially for you people. If there is any shortcoming, please let us know. Okay, let's start our topic for today. Our topic for today is very important. That is production possibly curve is asked in different board examinations continuously and you need to understand it really nicely. Okay, let's start it. Production possibility curve or production possibility frontier. It's also known by the name of PPC or PPF. And still some other names are also used for this production possibility curve. They are production possibility boundary, transformation line or transformation curve. If any of these terms figure in your question paper, that means you are being asked about production possibility curve. Okay, let's start with our definition. What is definition? Before that, we need to have a general understanding of our production possibility curve. As the term shows, production possibility, that means whatever production is possible in any economy. See, it represents the possible production of any economy, right? So, whatever production is possible in an economy using its all resources and level of technology. For example, India is having certain level of technology and the resources like land, labor, capital, entrepreneur, etc. Using all these resources, whatever production is possible in our economy can be represented with the help of our production possibility curve. But for the sake of simplicity, we take only two commodities to represent a production possibility curve. Why? Because more than two commodities can't be represented on two axes of production possibility curve. For the sake of simplicity, they have been taken. But in reality, any nation produces, like India, any nation produces immense number of goods and services, like thousands and thousands of goods and services. So for sake of simplicity, it has been used, right? See the definition now. PPC is a curve which shows different combinations of two goods. That means only two goods can be shown on production possibility curve. Different combinations, okay, that can be produced with given resources and level of technology. Two things are important. Different combinations of two goods with given resources and level of technology, right? That is very simple now. Whatever level of technology you have been given and whatever resources you have been given, you can produce different combinations of two goods, right? We can discuss it with the help of a production possibility graph. It's a graphical representation of your production possibility. So we can see here. Now, before discussing that graph, we need to see the assumptions. See, any theory cannot work without any type of assumptions. There are certain assumptions. So here we have resources are given. That means for every economy, resources are given. For production possibly curve also, we see that resources are given and they are fixed. Like land, labor, capital are fixed. Then resources are efficiently and fully utilized. That means none of the resources in economy are lying idle. They are not unemployed. Okay, there is no unemployment in your economy. Then no change in technology. That means level of technology remains constant in economy then only this can function because if level of technology gets increased or it elevates that means production will increase automatically that means we have to keep level of technology at constant level so these are the exceptions understood i think resources are given resources are fully and efficiently utilized and no change in technology right then we can discuss it with the help of production possibly schedule this is a schedule and this is a curve okay the graphical representation here we have we can see that here's a curve and here are two axes on x-axis we have taken wheat on y-axis we have taken rice you can take any other commodity also there is no confusion for using wheat or rice you can take oranges apples anything you like so on x-axis we have taken wheat and here we are taking rice at this point see o r what is given here rice is given and at this point R, we are producing only rice. That means we are producing none of the commodities of wheat. That is no second commodity is being produced. Only rice is being produced here. That means OR commodity of rice is produced. And zero amount, that is no amount of wheat is produced. All the resources in economy are devoted towards production of rice only. So what is the first combination? That is combination one is OR and zero amount of your wheat that is over amount of rice and zero amount of wheat 
second combination that means if we move on from point r to a what is the possibility of production here we are producing o r one quantity of rice and o w one quantity of your wheat see you can see here a corresponding to this we have w one that means second combination is o r one amount of rice and o w one amount of wheat third combination b move on to b here point b at this point we are producing O R two amount of rice and O W two amount of wheat. Here we have second combination, right? Third combination here, fourth combination. Sorry, here we have at point C, we are producing O R three amount of rice and O W three amount of wheat. This is the com O R three O W three, right? And at the extreme level here at point W, what we are doing? We are producing Zero amount of rice and O W amount of wheat. That means here all the resources have moved from the production of rice to wheat. That means we are producing only wheat now and zero amount of rice. That means at these points either only rice is produced or here at this point only wheat is produced. At these points, we are producing different combinations. In between these combinations, also we have number of combinations that can produce here, 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 here. Everywhere there are different points. We can produce on all these combinations. These are different combinations that are that are possible with the level of resources given and level of technology. So there are n number of combinations lying on this production possibility curve, right? So. Production possibility curve represents different combinations of two goods that can be produced with the help of your level of resources and technology. See, one thing you need to notice over here: if you want to produce wheat, then you have to decrease production of rice, right? Continuously you're decreasing your resources uh, from production of rice and moving on to production of wheat. Then only you can produce your Wheat. Otherwise, you are producing only rice or only wheat. That means we have to use resources in such a manner that we can produce both the commodities. And for the for increasing production of one commodity, we have to decrease production of another commodity. That means that's why this curve is concave. Here is slope. This slope of production possibility curve is concave. It's concave to origin, right? Why? Because to increase production of one commodity, we have to decrease production of another commodity. That means to increase production of wheat, what we have done, we have decreased production of rice from here. We have deported some of the resources away from production of rice to wheat. That's why we are increasing production of wheat from W1, W2, W3, and we are decreasing production of rice from R1 to R2 to R3. Right? Here we can see that. All these combinations A, B, C, or these type of combinations are possible combinations for an economy because at this point it is the maximum output that is possible with the help of the resources that are given in economy and level of technology. Some other points here D and E are given. What are they? These are also possible combinations. But here we are not utilizing our resources efficiently. We are not utilizing that means some of the resources are unemployed here we are not using our resources fully that means they are attainable but they are not here resources are not fully utilized so we have two types of combinations here these are see these combinations all these combinations a b c are attainable combinations attainable that means they can be attained by Economy. These are attainable combinations by economy. Here, this point F, combination F. See, this point lies beyond or outside your production possibility curve, and it's not possible for any economy whose resources are given and fixed to produce at this combination because it is lying outside. So this is your unattainable combination. Unattainable. That means it can't be attained. By your economy. Now there are two types of combination that are attainable here. These two combinations D and E are known as attainable combinations within PPC. That means they lie inside PPC. And these A, B, C these are known as attainable combinations on PPC within PPC 
on PPC. After discussing, we can see that we have two properties for PPC. The properties of PPC are number one is negative slope. That means a PPC slopes from left to right. It is having a negative slope. As we can see here, we can draw a PPC here. We are drawing it. This is x axis, this is y axis, this is our PPC. Very simple. And here its origin, this is PPC RW because we have taken rise and beat. Okay. This is negative slope. Why? Because it's sloping from here, left to right. Negatively sloping. Okay. Why? Because to increase production of one commodity, we have to decrease production of another commodity. That is shift. That is uh, shift in that. Okay. Then concave to origin. It is concave to origin. Okay. Why? Because here you can see it's bulging outside, but here it's having the scape shape towards origin. This is origin. It's concave to origin. So these are the two properties, negative slope and concave to origin. Now, we will discuss shifting or rotation of PPC. What is shifting? That means your curve as a whole is shifting towards either towards right or left. We will discuss now. Okay. It happens in two cases, change in resources and change in technology. Change in resources we will discuss first. If your resources increase in any case, like if your labor increases, it has happened in case of India. India has become the youngest nation of the world in year 2020. It is having the largest amount of labor force in the whole world. It's the youngest nation of the whole world. It is having demographic dividend. So it can use its labor force to produce more goods and services. That, that means its, P, its PPC can shift towards right. See, when your resources increase, they will produce more. And if you produce is more you will move towards a higher PPC okay so if your resources increase you will move to a new PPC that is R1 W1 and we can draw it here this is our new PPC R1 W1 that means increase I N C R E A S E increase that means your resources are increasing and your PPC is shifting towards right Got it? Now, if in any case your resources decrease, for instance, if your population decrease, that has happened in case of Japan, its population is becoming old day by day. It is not having lot many births per year. Its fertility rate is declining. So in that case, its labor is decreasing and it's fighting or jostling hard to increase its production. But its production possibility curve in this case can shift towards left and here. If your resources decrease in that case your PPC will shift towards left here this is leftward shift and your PPC is R2 W2 it is no you can just see uh, this word that is increasing leftward this is leftward shift and this is rightward shift increase this is decrease now second case where your rotation or uh, ha happens is changing technology if your technology changes then your production will increase but it happens that technology for production of one commodity may be different for another commodity so we have different uh, combinations of technologies so here first we will take change in technology for one commodity if we say that we have taken two commodities rice and wheat here we can draw our Again, we can draw our PPC. Here we have the PPC over here. Suppose we take first the wheat. If we happen to gain some technology that is efficient for production of wheat, then what will happen? Our wheat production will increase. It happened in case of India in year 1966. It imported high yielding variety of seeds from Mexico and its production increased in Green Revolution. So, if your wheat increases owing to some efficient technology here, this is W, this is RW and production of wheat increases from W to W1. This is the increase. So this can be called upon as efficient technology, efficient technology TCH for wheat, right? And your fraction possibly of a PPC have rotated towards right, but only for wheat, not for rice because it is not used for production of rice. It is only being used for production of wheat. Now, in second case, if we find some technology for production of rice, increasing production of rice, then it will be called as efficient technology for production of rice. Now, we can see here, we can again draw a PPC here. Now, this is our PPC 
again R W we can write in our case X Y over here and it is not increasing fraction of wheat only of rice so here we will make it like this so here R fraction has increased to R1 and this is your efficient technology technology for rice okay so your shifting of PPC happens in two cases that is change in resources and change in technology okay we have seen the properties we have seen everything now I hope this topic is quite clear to you people and if you have any problem regarding this topic do mention it in comments and let us know please do like this channel do like this video forward it to other people so other people can also see it and if there is any shortcoming uh, go to notes read them thoroughly and if there is any shortcoming there also then please let us know we will be more than happy to know that okay thank you so much for liking this video and subscribing to the channel thank you